I guess course. at the end of the day, you know, we're just as much a part of the University of Auckland as everyone else. Why should we be treated differently? One day, my dream is that people can get along. More tolerance, more acceptance, more understanding. A more inclusive environment where people embrace diversity and accept the fact that not everyone's the same. A broadening of appreciation for all cultures. Um, it's not just the cry of Pacific Studies students or Pacific students. It's a cry of all nations, you know, everyone wants to be included. Yeah, what I'd like to see is just everyone be friendly with each other, no matter what. You're here at the end of the day to get an education, not to be bullied and looked down on and be seen as second grade citizens. If you see other people getting bullied because of their race, I would say intervene, stop it. I think it, it is really important to remember that there is a whole history of racism against Māori and Pacific Islanders. People can't just say get over it and let it continue, you know, it's something that needs to be addressed. There needs to be more open discussion about it, stop trying to avoid it, you know, like the best way to get through any trial is exactly that, to get through it, not to try and avoid it, not to try and move around it, you know, but to address it, which is what we're trying to do here. So people need to start having open dialogue about it, start getting proactive about it, you know, and stop trying to brush it off like it's not a big deal. Yeah. Remove that ignorance, get educated, learn about it, and once you've gained that knowledge, come with us, mobilise and just, um, Together we can stop it through our own human action. I think people don't have a real understanding about us, Māori Pacifica. You know, we're not just one group, we're not just Māori and Pacific, we're very diverse. It's a two-way thing that we need to get out there and teach people, but also they need to have the desire to learn more about us. Why? Well, we are New Zealanders, you know, and, and I'll go out and learn about the Chinese culture and the do's and the don'ts, don'ts um, and obviously we know about the European culture. So I, th I think it's every New Zealand's responsibility to find out. You know, I'm not saying that you, you Google it and try and find out on Google. I'm saying, you know, talk to people. The judgment, the judgment levels just need to drop, man, seriously. Being Māori is who I am, it's not what I'm capable of doing. People should really be judged on how they are for their personalities, for their characteristics, for how they as a person are, not from where they come from, not because that you're brown or you come from the islands or you're of Māori descent that you're automatically associated with something bad. It's so corny to say know me before you judge me, but really everybody does come in um, with a different story and you actually don't know me and so to throw such a huge stereotype onto me um, just because of the colour of my skin is injustice and it's just not fair. Come and be a Tongan for a day and then tell me how you feel. Walk in our shoes for one day. I do not judge you for the colour of your skin, for where you come from. So walk in my shoes for one day and see why it's a struggle. And then come back to me with your information and we can sit and talk. Yeah. That's the nicest way I can put it. But yeah, <laughs> walk in my shoes. You know, we, we need to stop internalising that... Um, the expectations placed upon us. My big thing is just not letting your skin colour or your race or anything in terms of your culture um, hold you back. You, know, you made it to university, um, you, you got in, you're here, so make the most of it. Don't let other people say that you shouldn't be here or that it's a surprise that you're here. You're here for you and for your family and don't ever compromise on that. You know, we need to realise that you know there are some things that we can control and some things that we that we can't, um, and you know work work hard, fight for things that we can control, um, and leave the rest alone. What I like to see is when we really succeed um, at law school, and that really starts to change the perception that we have so many students, you know, getting the A pluses, doing honours, doing so well, and. I remember like hearing a quote sort of saying like the like kind of the brown man's got to like fly to where the white man can walk to and I know it's probably going to take a lot of effort on our part so we've got to work twice as hard but when we do people start to see that we're actually we know we're not lazy we're not here just because we get in through something some easy scheme we're actually some of the top like the top students there and we add a lot of like life and diversity to the law school. We get discriminated upon but we can build other people up. 
We can be, we are, we are love, we are aroha, we are so caring, we are so strong. If people were nicer to us, I feel like this would become more obvious because that means we would reflect more love and more happiness and more joy. Well, I'd like to see the university take a much stronger stance. I would hope that people who are more, you know, on the privileged side are willing to engage with us more who feel the discrimination and at least start discussing what's going on. Yeah, it, it, just, it shouldn't just fall on us as, you know, as minorities um, because, you know, whoever listens to the small guy. <laughs>